Today I'm going to show you a simple but very effective setup so that you can cause Miss A to play any MP3 file, either by asking Miss A to play the file or by using it in a routine to be triggered by any of the devices in your smart home setup. That's up next. Today's episode, I'm going to be using a new skill. It's called MyPod. And what MyPod does, it integrates with the Miss A app and it allows you to be able to have the MP3 file play. Uh, specifically, what I'm going to be doing today is using a dog barking MP3 file. And I'm going to have that file played whenever motion is detected by my kitchen sensor. And I've just got it set up in the kitchen to play on my Echo device for demonstration purposes. But ideally, what you'd want to do is create a routine in your Miss A app to be triggered by one of your smart devices, say, for instance, your front porch motion sensor, so that if motion is detected, then you have the MP3 file play on an Echo device, which is in proximity to your front door. In this case, it would trigger dog barking sounds to hopefully scare off any would-be intruders. To set up this automation in the Miss A app, you open up your app, click on More in the bottom right-hand corner. Then you'll need to enable a skill. So go into Skills and Games. Now, I've already enabled this skill. It's called MyPod. We'll go ahead and click on that. So you'll see it's already been enabled in my screen. So first step is to enable that skill. Once you've done that, then we need to go to the MyPod website. So here we are at the MyPod website. The address is mypodapp.com. So there's no need to create a sign in here. This is a, a free app if you're using it for a single MP3 file. You do need some sort of a depository to be able to access your mp3 file from either Google Drive, Amazon Drive, Dropbox, or you can use a specific web link if you prefer. So we need to have a file, an mp3 file, deposited into your account. I'm using my Dropbox account and I'm using this aggressive dog bark sound. Let's listen to that sound. Okay, and so I made that file to go on, I think, for about five minutes. Uh, so once you have your MP3 file sourced and you paste it into the depository that you're going to use that's acceptable to MyPod, then you need to copy the link for that MP3 file. So I hit copy link here, then go into your MyPod account and simply paste that link here and then click shorten. It's going to give you a phrase that you can say to activate that sound on any of your echo devices. So let's go ahead and give that a try. Ask MyPod to play 3414364. Resuming 3,414,364. Stop. All right, now that we have this phrase, we can go ahead and copy that and we can use this in a Miss A routine. So let's go give that a try. Okay, in the Alexa app, you want to select the three lines in the lower right hand corner that says more. Click on that and then click on routines. Okay, now let's add a new routine by hitting the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. And we're going to call this dog barking. Okay, hit next. All right, when this happens, 
As I mentioned, I'm going to demonstrate this on my kitchen motion sensor. So that is in my smart home category. So I'm going to click on smart home. And then I'm going to scroll down until I find my kitchen sensor. Click on that. We want to change the status to detected. So when kitchen sensor detects motion and then hit next. All right, now we're ready to add some actions. The first action that I want to add is a device setting. And I typically have music playing on this Echo Show, which is in our kitchen. So I'm going to change that device setting uh, and uh, stop audio. That's the first thing. Hit next. It confirms that Miss A will stop audio on the associated device. Next. Okay, let's add another action. Again, this will be a device setting. And what I want to do is change the volume. And I want to have the volume all the way up to 100%. Hit next. So it says Miss A will set the volume to 10. Hit next again. All right, now here is where we add the custom action, which contains that phrase that we received off of the MyPod site. So we add an action. Way at the top, you see custom. You click on custom. All right, and now we need that phrase. Ask MyPod to play 3414364. All right, I'm just going to remove that hyphen in there. I don't think that'll matter, but just in case, we'll take that out. Hit next. All right, so we have the audio stopping on the device, which is my going to be my Echo Show. We'll set the volume to 10, and then we'll ask Miss A to ask my pod to play and the corresponding number. So we're going to choose device. That's the last step. And uh, the device that we're going to choose is my Echo Show, which again is in our kitchen upstairs. And again, I'm setting this up just for demonstration purposes. We'll go ahead and hit save. And that's all there is to setting up this routine. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what this routine does. Okay, so there is my Echo Show. The motion sensor is right up here, which is probably triggered. Resuming couple final thoughts before we wrap this up. Obviously, you'd want your Echo device close to the door where someone might walk up to while you're away from home. And uh, the way this routine is set up as of now, anytime somebody walks up to your door, it's going to trigger a dog barking sound. Ideally, you'd want this set up so that it is only triggered when you're away from home and motion is detected. So I would recommend that you set up an automation within your SmartThings app that has two triggers. First of all, it checks to see that everyone is away from home. And secondly, it checks if motion is detected. So if those two conditions are true, then you'd want to turn on a virtual switch. Now, virtual switches are very easily created. I have several videos, and I'll leave some links up above so you can check those out. But create a virtual switch and have that virtual switch turn on when everyone is away from home and motion is detected. That turned on switch then can be used within the routine. So that would be the trigger for the routine to start the MP3 file with the dog barking sounds. You would also want your SmartThings automation to turn off that virtual switch after a time delay. The purpose for that is so that the switch can be reset so that if motion occurs a second time, that switch can be turned back on, thereby advising the Miss A routine to start the uh, barking sound a second time. Also, uh, obviously, you'd want to make sure that your Echo devices are close to the door or doors which you want this sound to be played so that it can be heard from the outside. So with those final thoughts, we'll wrap up today's video. 
Hopefully you found today's content helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will tell the YouTube algorithms that this content is good and that more people should see it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so so that you don't miss any of the upcoming content. Hey, thanks for watching today and we'll see you next time.